The only thing matters when it comes to getting coaching clients. And it's not the strategy nor the mindset. Warning, this may be against everything you've heard. If you've been investing in courses, group coaching, masterminds, learning different strategies, you want to watch this video until the end because I'm going to share with you the most important thing when it comes to getting clients and promoting your business and the three mistakes you're making that's costing you time and money. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter, brand mentor, conversion strategist. I help online coaches clarify their message, create their flagship offer, plan their launches and get clients consistently without social media burnout with my evergreen strategies. Today, I am talking about the most important thing when it comes to getting coaching clients. I see so many of you investing in learning, courses, group coaching, masterminds. It's keeping you stuck. Like, wait a minute. I'm an educator and a strategist. So, of course, I believe in strategy and, of course, I believe in learning and knowledge. Yes. But I'm going to break it down for you and I'm going to explain to you why this is keeping you stuck. Most of you I talk to know the information very well. You even know a lot more than you're supposed to at this point. Some of you are even business coaches and because you know the information so well, you want to help other clients. You want to help other people. Now you invest in co courses, you get group coaching, you get mastermind, you learn all of these strategies, but you don't have the application of these strategies. You don't know how to apply them. Here's what I mean. When you're learning the information, it makes so much sense, right? You learn a strategy and it's like, oh, wow, that makes so much sense. That should work. I'm going to try this. And in most cases, it's because it's, it's a strategy that works. Nobody's really teaching a strategy that doesn't work. All these strategies work for someone, right? But just because the strategy works doesn't mean that you'll be able to apply it. Because in order for the strategy to work, first you need to know what to say and how to say it. So the reason why you're stuck is because you know the information, you know what to do, but because you don't know what to say or how to say it to apply it to your business, you keep stuck. So learning that information didn't do any good to you if you couldn't apply it or apply it right. And here's the perfect example. Let's say you watch a course or in your group coaching, your coach tells you, you need to ask your uh, audience what they struggle with, right? They, they tell you, oh, you need to learn their pain points and their struggles so that you can talk about it and you can attract more clients. This is perfectly correct. There's nothing wrong with this information. Yes, you do need to know that. But what happens is you go and create a post um, or DM someone or any type of different engagement, you literally go and ask what they're struggling with. Either, oh, what are you struggling with in your business? Or what are you struggling with when it comes to social media? What are you struggling with being a single mom? What are you struggling with um, procrastination when it comes to procrastination? Something like that, right? Is the question not valid? It is. We want to know what they're struggling with. You need to know what your audience is struggling with to turn them into a lead. And then you need to know what your lead is struggling with to turn them into a client. Yes. However, whenever you ask someone about what they're struggling with, now people know that, oh, they're going to learn what I'm struggling with and they're going to try to pitch, right? So whenever you ask this, they expect a pitch coming. And that does not work for you. So what happened? Does the strategy not work? No, it does. It's just you don't know what to say. And you don't know how to say what to say. That's the most important part. Or the second biggest mistake you're making. These are from examples. You learn that you need a funnel 
because it works great, right? I do funnels all day. That's what I do. Um, and they do work. It's a great strategy. They do work. Now you start, you know, building a lead magnet and the email sequences and the landing page, sales page, thank you page, checkout, da 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 You start creating all of these things, which is costing you lots of time and sometimes even investment because you're investing into the platform or the design and such, right? Now what happens? You see that that sales page is not really booking you clients or that that email sequence is not bringing you leads or people sign up to your lead magnet and they're not turning it to a client. Why? Because you don't know what to say, right? You don't know what to say on that landing page. You don't know what to say on in the email uh, sequence. You don't know what to say on the sales page. And you don't know how to say it. So then what happens? You go and maybe purchase some templates, right? Templates are perfect. I love templates, right? Who doesn't like templates? Now, one thing that may happen, you purchase these templates and you realize there are like templates for images or graphics and that type of creative, right? Or if you buy the script templates, again, in the script template, it's going to ask you about the pain points of your audience, right? It's going to tell you how, um, it's going to ask you how to say it, right? Oh, are you a XYZ that is struggling with ABC and you want to do one, two, three without the whatnot, right? So if you don't know what to say, that works for your business and your ideal client, that script is nothing. And a lot of times you end up giving such a vague message that it actually confuses your audience a lot more because you went off of a script template, right? So now you wasted money on a script template. You wasted time on trying to edit it to your needs. But again, because the problem is your messaging and you don't know what to say it and how to say it, it doesn't work for you, right? Another biggest mistake you're making that's costing you money and time. You hire someone to do your social media posts or your um, DM engagement. But do you know if the, this person has the right script? Do you know if these people know what to say? Because unless you hire a seasoned copywriter who knows about your business and your market really well, a, a virtual assistant or a social media manager is not going to know how to write, how to say what to say for you, right? That's a copywriter you need. So what happens? Since you don't have your own scripts that works for your business, these people go and use the scripts that are, again, almost like a template that most people use, right? It doesn't really give you the outcome you need, the results you need. So now, again, you lost more money, more time. Instead, what do you need to do instead? Instead, invest in working with someone who is a seasonal conversion copywriter and actually co-create it with you, right? Someone who's going to do it with you, not done for you, not teaching and coaching, but actually co-creating for you, with you, right? So once you co-create the content of what to say and how to say it with a seasoned conversion copywriter. You can hone in on your message and now that will work on any platform. That will work on any funnel. That will work on any place, right? And that's my whole point when I talk about these evergreen strategies, which copywriting is the biggest portion, right? What you say in your copy is the biggest portion. I used to travel to different countries and teach international resort chains how to write their press releases, how to write their sales copy, 
how to write their website so that with the press release they can get on a TV show or a magazine or a newspaper and stand out. Now, all the resorts have almost the same amenities, right? This is market. We got to play the long game and we got to keep up with what else other ha others have too, right? What makes the difference and what brings in that unique selling point is the copy. It's what you say and how you say it, right? We're all five-star hotels. We all have the same amenities. Why is a magazine featuring me in there or why is a TV show is guesting me in there but not you right it's because of what you say and how to say it so before you know what to say and how to say it no platform no mastermind no course no funnel no assistant or a team can really help you. So that's your first step. Think about this. I mean, it's not a great analogy, but car salesmen or uh, people who used to go door to door selling vacuums, right? Vacuum whatevers. Do they have a funnel? No. Do they have a bunch of strategies? No. But they know what to say and how to say it to make that sale. They're, they know their talking points, right? They sit down with someone in that industry, in that business, teaching them exactly what to say and how to say it so that it works for that business and the clients or the leads of that business. So they are so honed in on their message, on their talking points and selling points, right? And that's not because of a funnel. That's not because of Facebook. That's not because of DM engagement. That's not because of um, any course that they took, right? So think of these things. Make sure to invest, make the investment in the right place. Stop trying to learn new things, learn new things, thinking that learning a new thing is going to help you. Learning a new thing is, has never helped anyone unless they learned how to apply it. If you're done with learning all of these things, and if you are now ready to actually efficiently, effectively apply this to your business, and if you wanna hone in on what you need to say and how you need to say it to get those clients, if you want help that is done with you, drop me a comment below or send me a DM, and let's talk.